The return of the Italian auto brand Fiat to the United States in 2010 was supposed to bring a touch of Italian flair to the U.S. car buyer in an affordable package. But less than a decade later, it is looking like a failure. The sad story of Fiat in the U.S. is one of bad timing and the wrong product. And it leaves open the question of whether this little hatchback and the rest of the Fiat lineup even have a future in America. Fiat is a distinctly Italian car name, founded in Turin, Italy in 1899. Its small hatchbacks and roadsters are well known in Fiat's home country, in other parts of Europe, and in places around the world. Fiat's history in the United States dates back to the first years of the 20th century. In the early 1900s, Fiat even built cars at a factory in New York. Yet, Fiat pulled out of the U.S. entirely in 1983, amid poor sales and a reputation for unreliability. But it remained a popular and influential brand in Italy. One of its most iconic models is the Fiat 500. It is perhaps the classic Italian city car, designed to bring affordable beauty to the European masses in the wake of World War II. Its fans praise it for being fun to drive, cheap to fuel, and easy to park. So Fiat's a really interesting company because it's sort of like that partner or spouse that you really need to give up and you just don't want to because they're just so sexy. <laughs> but it's just not very good for you. So, you know, Fiat is, there's a, there's a lot of acronyms about it. None of them are positive. But at the end of the day, you want to love this brand because it just evokes such passion in people. But 27 years after leaving, Fiat decided to re-enter the U.S. market once again, emboldened by a merger with the then-bankrupt U.S. carmaker Chrysler. The U.S. automotive industry at that time was struggling and gas prices were rising. It seemed the perfect opportunity to bring Fiat's small, affordable vehicles back to the U.S. Coming out of the recession, fuel prices were high, uh, so there was a bet that if fuel prices stayed that way and Americans wanted small, fuel-efficient vehicles, there probably is a place for a premium offering, much like many who had been in market you know, nearly for a decade at that point, um, to, to, to suit Americans that you, know, you want a small car, but you still don't want to give up some of the, the, the nice features of, of a slightly more premium experience. So I, I don't think it was a terrible bet uh, bringing Fiat to the United States when they did. The Italian car maker brought a small lineup of hatchbacks and roadsters to the country with splashy advertising campaigns, complete with Super Bowl commercials, supermodels, and Hollywood actors. One commercial in particular featured Fiat's small 500 cars diving into the ocean off the Italian coast and emerging on the shores of the United States. But now Fiat is in real trouble in the US for reasons both within and out of its control. First, it turned out that as the economy recovered, Americans didn't buy a lot of small cars, or really even many cars at all. Instead, Americans scooped up sport utility vehicles, pickup trucks, and a fast emerging category of vehicles known as crossovers, a sort of hybrid of traditional passenger cars and SUVs. At the time that Fiat launched, the market, the new car market, was about 55% car and 45% SUV, pickup truck, that kind of crossover vehicle. Today, we are actually at 30% car. 30% car. Honestly, I've been in this industry for 20 years. I never thought that we would get this low in car demand. And even though Fiat's come out with things like the Fiat 500L, which is a longer, larger vehicle, it doesn't matter. We are selling medium and large crossovers. We're selling subcompact crossovers. We're just selling crossovers, pickup trucks. Of course, Fiat's parent company, Fiat Chrysler, is not exactly struggling relative to its competitors in other areas of its business. Its Jeep and Ram truck brands have been remarkably well positioned for the SUV and pickup craze. In the same years Fiat has struggled, Jeep and Ram have thrived. 
Out of all the brands sold by the big Detroit automakers Ford, GM, and FCA, only Jeep and Ram are gaining share in the U.S. market. So the question is, what does Fiat's future in the U.S. look like? FCA has repeatedly said it will not give up on the brand in the U.S., but industry watchers say it will be difficult to justify a presence here unless something changes. Overall, small cars have a tough time in the U.S. market. For example, Mercedes-Benz parent Daimler ended North American sales of its small, smart cars. If Fiat does not find some way to reach the U.S. customer, the Italian brand may have to swim back across the Atlantic once more.